Hello everyone and welcome to a nail video. I'm so excited about this video because I'm going through so so much. First of all, I'm showing you the best way of doing your nails at home. The full cover tips method. I've now mastered the best way of doing this and I promise you if you follow all of the steps then these full cover tips will last you for weeks. <laughs> maybe even a month. With that we are also doing the cutest holiday nails that I already have right here. This gel polish from Amelie. Honestly I've never seen a prettier gel polish and this you know for the holiday season it's so so pretty. Then something that I've been wanting to try but I just have not felt like I'm gonna be good at it but I tried acrylic again and I think it's my third time trying acrylic I only did one nail though uh, but I'm going through that with you guys and you can see down here if you just want to see the prep if you just want to see the application or if you just want to see the acrylic or maybe you want to skip the acrylic you know for example um, also I finally got myself a nail dust collector. This is from Savaland and so many of you guys have said go get yourself a nail dust collector, your lungs are gonna thank you and from just trying it once like I already know this was a very very good purchase. <laughs> Without further ado let's just go and hop into the nail tutorial and all the other fun stuff, quick reviews and all that. <laughs> Here we have something that is very very important. I have finally gotten myself a nail dust collector. This is from Savilland. I haven't really heard that much good about it, but it was on sale and uh, I really don't want to spend a lot on a dust collector, honestly. I don't know. I just don't feel like it's that fun. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that it is very important to save your lungs from the dust that you inhale, obviously. Um, so I finally got one and we are going to try it out today. And as you guys can see, my nails are not cute anymore. I only have five left because I'm trying to like peel them off which has completely ruined my nails and I know that you should never do that but I still do it because yeah I don't know why so here we have it it's quite small which I like I really wanted a wireless one uh, as I have like everything wireless from my e-file to my nail lamp but this was yeah it's because wireless ones are much more expensive obviously and yeah <laughs> let's plug this in all right it is plugged in and now let's see how much sound it makes mm. all right i mean it does make quite a lot of sound. Can't you pull this up to remove the filter, I thought? There we go. So in here, there's this filter, but this is a reusable filter apparently, so you can just like dust it off when you've used it. Okay, I see that they have grown so, so much. Look at that. Yeah, so we need to remove this. This is the day before I'm going to redo my nails though, because I am going to go and climb tomorrow. So I'm just gonna uh, clip off the length to get rid of that. Now I'm gonna take my McCart e-file and I'm gonna change it to this bit. Gonna put it to eight, I guess, or no, seven, I think. And let's see how this works then. Mm-hmm. 
All right, so I just filed off one of my nails and it feels really nice. There's no dust anywhere else than right here. And it worked really great. Like, I really like that. So yeah, I am very happy with that. I don't know if you can tell, but there is dust in there and nowhere else. So that's great. So now I'm going to file most of it off with the e-file like I just did and then I'm gonna soak them in acetone with a cotton pad like I usually do or I might file them off we'll see <laughs> we are going to start off with the prep and for the prep I have my little prep box right here <laughs> I have my alcohol pads you can use any type of cleanser that I have here for example but I just really enjoy these alcohol pads. This I usually just bring out because I always need it. My little drill bits. I have my cuticle oil. We have the primer and the dehydrator from McCart. I really want to try out the Young Nails primer. Uh, it's the one that everybody uses, but I'm not been able to get that as they do not sell to Sweden unfortunately and then i have my e-file right there i'm gonna bring out a few alcohol pads so we're now a little bit closer and i'm going to start off with my cuticle pusher from candy coat and i'm just without uh, that much force like you don't want to be harsh with this but just push the cuticles back to make the next steps easier as well. There we go. And then on the other one. And now I'm gonna go in with my cuticle nipper and I'm just gonna nip away some of the cuticles. If I have like, like this one, for example, you can see that I have quite a lot of it. So I'm just being very, very careful with this. Not as much here, but just a little bit. I love this step. I know that a lot of people suggest not to do it when you're doing your nails at home, but I just think that it's so satisfying and I'm being very careful with this. <laughs> I'm saying that, but I've cut myself so many times. Now it is time for my e-file and I prefer this type of uh, nail drill bit right now. I've tried so many over the years, put it to six. So we're gonna start off from the middle and then I just file to the side here. And don't forget these sides. This is pretty much just to get rid of the cuticles that is laying on the nail plate. And also just to push back the cuticles a little bit further. And with this you are uh, filing a little bit on the nail plate as well. So it will stick better. Everything that you put on top will stick better. So I'm just gonna do this quickly on all nails. And now when I've done all five nails, I'm going to switch the rotation of the e-file. Put it to six again. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing, but go the other way, if that makes sense. Just to make sure I get every single bit. Now I'm going in with my just regular file and I'm taking the finer side. I usually just go in like this all over my nails, but I did just remove my last set yesterday, so they are already a little bit etched because of that, so I don't have to go in that hard. And then I also just file the free edge here a little bit. Then we're gonna go in with a little alcohol pad and just clean off all of the nails and make sure there's no oil or dust or 
anything really on them. They should be all clean. All right, so there we have the prep all done and the cuticles are looking so, so good. Now I'm gonna go in with the dehydrator from McCart. I honestly am not sure if this is super good. <laughs> I've tried it without and I don't see a huge difference, to be honest. The same thing with the primer but I'm still going to use it as, I mean, I have it and it must do something, I guess. Um, but don't be discouraged if you want to try out and do your own nails, but you don't have a dehydrator or a primer, you can do this and without it for sure. And then I'm going in with the McCart base coat and I'm just doing a thin layer of this. So there we have the base coat and here on the side I have my little uh, nail lamp that I'm gonna put to 60 seconds and we're gonna cure that. And while that happens I'm going to get myself a little vanilla coke. If I can with one hand. Yep. There we go. Yummy. And then for the thumb, sometimes when you put in your hand like this, as you guys can see, the bottom side of the nail won't cure perfectly. So I always go in with my uh, thumb like this by itself for like 60 or 30 seconds. Make sure you cure the other side of the nail, if that makes sense. And then you want some sort of nail tips. Um, as I said, this is the easiest way of doing your nails and that is full cover tips and they come like this I already have my sizes picked out though so we're gonna start off with the tiny little finger <laughs> and for this it's really good to um, etch the inside you can actually go in with some acetone and I've tried that a couple of times now and it works really really well so I'm just gonna take a little thing like that, put in some acetone. I'm just gonna take a McCart uh, brush like this that, I don't know, I have so many of these, so it's totally fine. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of the acetone and I'm just gonna rub it inside of the nail. And this will uh, completely ruin the brush, just so you guys know. I hope that you guys can see that the inside is kind of like, I don't know, it's looking a little bit weird. That is how you want it. And then I have my tiny nail lamp. So many of these uh, you can get super, super cheap. So don't be discouraged. Also, if you don't have this, if you have just a big one, you can just hold your um, hand underneath. But these ones are a lot easier. Then I take my nail gel glue you can use a lot of different ones like these ones that are builder bases and they come in different colors but i have this one that is transparent so i'm gonna use that one first of all i'm just gonna go in with a super super thin thin layer of this and i'm just gonna put some gel in there you don't have to use a lot and then if this doesn't work the first time you try it, don't be discouraged. You can just wipe it off. Just make sure you don't cure it until you're happy with it. And then you can redo it however many times you want. I am not gonna put it all the way into the cuticles because I think it works way better if you put it a little bit too, um, not as far. I'm just gonna show you guys. <laughs> so I'm gonna put it there. And I'm slowly gonna put it on like that and then cure it just for a couple of seconds and then you can let it go. Either you can cure it completely 60 seconds in the little lamp but I'm just gonna do a couple of seconds so it sticks and then I'm gonna do the whole hand in the big lamp afterwards. So there we have 
one mm, is it a little bit crooked maybe a little bit <laughs> but that's fine and i'm not sure if you can see but it's not all the way to the cuticles because i am going to put a gel on top to make sure that it sticks way better so let's just go ahead and do that again take the next nail tip go in with some acetone i'm gonna put a thin layer take some on the actual nail tip not all the way to the cuticles and we're gonna cure that and we're just gonna do the same thing on all of the nails but as i said we're going to skip the thumb uh for now because i want to try acrylics just for funsies so there we have the nail tips ready i do not want them this long though so i'm just gonna go in with some old nail clippers and some nail uh clipper clippers <laughs> and i'm just gonna cut the shape before we do anything so there we have them just clipped very roughly i am once again going to take my little acetone with the same brush and i am going to go around the sides here this i do just to blend the nail tip with my own nail if that makes sense i sometimes just go in all over the nail tip just so everything that I put on top will stick a lot better. Before I put another gel on top, I'm going to file these into shape. Or should I, or should I go in with, hmm, I wonder. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with the nail file and I'm just gonna file these into the shape that I want. So I'm also filing the sides here. And I'm just rounding out the tip here and here you can go any type of shape you want obviously yeah something like this one there we have them and then the thing that will make your nails last for ever and ever and ever is to use the same uh, builder gel uh, to adhere the uh, nail tips to your own nail just go in and Put another layer on top here and when you put the builder gel all over like this and I now have my natural nail here by the cuticles and then the nail tip I'm just like blending them together if that makes sense and then finally after this we're gonna get into the gel color and I'm so excited about this. Well, I'm gonna let you guys know right now. This is probably not gonna be anything super fun. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna do any art, like nail art or anything. I don't think at least. I kind of just want to do plain red glitter nails. Because I got this new color. I just want really cute glittery nails. <laughs> is that okay? <laughs> I don't know though if this is opaque enough to just use by itself. Should we try it maybe? Just... Oh wow, wow. <laughs> okay, you guys need to be close. Okay, you're not that close. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but what? That is so, so pretty. Okay, I think I have to go in with this all over. I'm probably going to do two layers though, because I personally hate when you can see through them. Wow, oh my god, I'm so excited. This is exactly what I wanted when I bought this. And we're going to do two layers of this, so I'm going to start off with a very, very thin layer just to make sure that I don't bulk up the nails. Oh 
my god you guys this is the prettiest color so i could obviously just leave them plain which is kind of what i want to do um i'm not done but um i do have some rhinestones and things like this from a cart these ones as well that are so cute and this as well so i don't mean i have a few options obviously but right now i don't know i'm gonna do all fingers and then i'm just gonna see what i feel like and now we're gonna go in with a second layer and this will be the last layer i'm pretty sure i'm sorry if this is boring for you guys and you just are screaming at screen right now wanting me to put stuff on it but i'm just a basic nail bitch <laughs> sorry but i am so we are just going to put on a top coat i am going to show you guys how i do the uh, acrylic thumb though before i show you guys the complete result with the other hand as well all right, I am so excited about this. I've actually never, ever, ever used my cards um, my, uh, acrylic. So I'm pretty sure that we're gonna go in with this. Then I have a brush here. I think this is from Model Wands as well. Um, and then I have a odorless monomer. I don't understand how people work with regular monomer because it smelled up my entire house and it was just... It was horrible like i absolutely horrible so here is a odorless acrylic liquid from nagelgiganten which is a swedish brand i mean it smells if you smell it really close but um not at all like the other ones so i'm just gonna put a little bit there and then i already have a base on top of here and i just went in with a uh, alcohol wipe so I have that ready. I actually love to use forms and a gel like a builder gel or just a regular gel gel. <laughs> it was my favorite way of doing my nails until I found these um, this way with uh, the full cover tips and let's see then. So from what I've understood you should completely soak the brush in monomer just so it's like i don't know hydrated or something i don't know and then get rid of the liquid and you should have some sort of paper nearby and then just dip it and then soak it in some of the acrylic like that and then let's put it on, I guess. Okay, like that. And I see people just wipe off the brush. And then from what I've understood also with the um, odorless acrylic is that it dries really quick. Or very slow, I mean. So you can work with it very um, long. like oh no it's all over my <laughs> this why is this so hard <laughs> also why i want to try this uh acrylic again obviously I, I want to like one day i want to be able to do acrylic uh, but i want to see if it lasts longer on me let me see one second i just have to be very close now Okay, let's just go in with a second bead then. And let's make this a little bit longer. And then I'm just gonna put it here. Okay, honestly, this is not going as bad as I thought it was gonna do or go. I don't know if I love the color of this. I really thought it was going to be more of a nude nude. I don't know. It feels very... Pale? I don't know. Is it just me? 
and just let it harden a little bit and spread out by itself. All right, there we go. I must say I'm very proud of myself. The structure is there. Um, as you guys can see, it could be better, but um, I mean, that is a good nail for being the third and really like the first time I really, really try. I am so, so happy with that. So now I'm just gonna let it completely harden. All right, let's try and remove this now. There we go. Nice. Okay, I don't think that I have to file that much. It feels like it has like a sticky layer though. I think that is a thing that some acrylics have sticky layers. Should I just try and file it off maybe? Oh, is it maybe not fully dried yet? I feel like it's very, very soft. You know what? I'm just gonna wait for a little bit longer, I think. I am back, as you guys can see, I've done the other hand. Now, I mean, we must be able to. Yeah, now it doesn't feel as soft. This feels really nice. All right, so I'm just gonna file this now into shape. And then I will just put the gel polish on top like the others. All righty, let's add a little bit of hand cream for the final look. How gorgeous are these? That is honestly, like even if you don't wanna do like a nail extension, you really should look into this gel polish because it is so can you tell how glitter, 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 glittery these are? <gasps> I'm obsessed. Obsessed, 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 obsessed. So there we have the nails. I am obsessed with them. I've had them now for a couple of days and they look so pretty. Like every single time I see them, <laughs> every single time I'm in the same room, as someone and I see my nails, I'm always like, oh my god, look at my nails. Look how beautiful they are. Jonas is getting really sick of it. But they really are. Like this gel polish from Amelie, the um, 95. I'm obsessed with it. And I will, of course, have this linked down below uh, if you want to check it out. I bought it on Amazon, so you can probably get it quite fast, I would say. But yeah, this is honestly, ugh, I don't even know. I've never seen anything more beautiful <laughs> and I feel like I need more of these but other colors for New Year's Eve I really want like a black glittery color also something that I will have linked down below in my Amazon storefront is the nail dust collector that I also got on Amazon because I've only tried it once as you guys saw but like just not having dust all over my table I usually have it all over my camera lens and all over my camera. I can find like dust in my nose for me just breathing while doing my nails. And not having that <laughs> is, it feels very nice. I would really recommend it. I have not found any bad things about it just yet without it or except it having a cord. <laughs> I really hope you guys have enjoyed uh, and uh, we will see each other in the next video, which will probably be me trying out my Christmas present from me to me. And it's a very expensive one, but it's a really fun one. See you guys in the next video. Bye guys.